Shalom Aleichem, my dear brothers and sisters. In this video, I would like to discuss with you a hypoth hypothetical question. What if the Jews are wrong in, uh, in regards to Jesus being the Messiah? What if he was really the Messiah, but the Jews got it wrong and, you know, and didn't believe him as a Messiah? What, what, what happens? Is that a sin or not? So, um, now, this is just a hypothetical question because I'm sure that the Jews are not wrong. You know, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't follow Judaism if I thought <laughs> the Jews might be wrong. But hypothetically speaking, here's what I think is that if, let's say, Jews are wrong and, you know, Jesus was the Messiah and Jews didn't believe in him as the Messiah, if you look, look throughout the whole Torah, we have 613 commandments, 248 of these commandments are positive, meaning to do something, God commands us to do something, and then 365 of these commandments are negative, where God forbids us to do something. So out of all these commandments, there is not one commandment that says, when the Messiah appears, you shall accept him. No such commandment. You know, there's by not accepting Messiah, even the real one, I'm talking about the real one, there's no violation of not accepting Messiah. In Judaism, all Messiah is, is a prophecy that eventually there's going to be a king who's going to do certain things, and once those things be, will, you know, come about, then this is the king that the prophets predicted about he's the messiah he's the chosen one uh, during whom these things will come about so all it is is a prophecy it's not a commandment when it you know in the eyes of judaism it's just like we have you know other prophecies for example we have a prophecy that one day the jews the children of israel will return to the land of israel it's a prophecy so if let's say you know, nowadays we have Jews living in Israel and somebody says, you know what, I don't believe that this has been fulfilled. For example, there's no violation. You know, the prophecy doesn't say you must, uh, when this happens, you must believe that it happened. There's no really, you know, uh, commandment like that. Or for example, another one, you know, there's another prophecy that the, says that when the Jews come back to the land of Israel, it will sprout with vegetation. Again, you know, if a person says, no, Israel did not sprout with vegetation, for example, there's no biblical prohibition, not even rabbinical prohibition. So if the Jews are wrong when it comes to the Messiah, you know, the, the reality is there's no violation involved. Now, once a person becomes a king, you know, meaning he was ordained as a king, he was, you know, declared as a king, um, by a prophet or by a previous king given the throne then whether we believe he's a messiah or not is, is irrelevant however we must obey him as a king that's you know that's different uh, law where we must obey our leader who is the king and so so that's a different question but as re regarding you know to believe the true messiah there's really no obligation from the point of view from the Torah, from the rabbinical, and I mean, I've never heard of such a uh, obligation, you know, obviously I don't know everything, I could be wrong, but I've never heard such an obligation in any of the Jewish sources that I've, you know, read so far. Alright, so that's a little thing that I wanted to discuss. Thank you for watching.